And now, the Fin Fish Tank. This is the Fin Fish Tank, where entrepreneurs get a rare opportunity to pitch these shark fins for the chance to earn an investment for their startup company. Peas and breadboard. If a shark fin hears a great idea, they are willing to invest their own money. 200000 And they are ready to fight for a part of the action. Very rarely does Andy even know what he's talking about, so... This is sheer evil. Hello, sharks. I'm Derek Froberg, and this is my partner, Carl Lansgren. And we are excited to introduce to you the most innovative clothing trend yet, panel wear. We came up with this idea when we realized clothing isn't bulky or yellow enough. Our product is versatile enough to be used in a variety of styles, including casual wear, floral, skater, and even all black everything. Panels go beyond fashion. They're functional as well. It's powerful and effective at stopping water. From our calculations, it's an 80% success rate. Fantastic. Hatch panels have even been shown to have anti-aging properties. Here, let me show you how it works. When I apply a hatch pin on the head, you notice that I start to look younger. And finally, it can be used as protection from incoming projectiles. We realize that there is currently a large market for panel-based clothing, and with this product, we can do some good work as well. On the planet Primus, there is an overabundance of panels on the planet, which is negatively impacting the wildlife. Everyone talks about the sea turtles, but today we're going to talk about the zebras. Most people don't know they're there. Their natural black and white camouflage hides them so well against the planet's surface. And yet every year, zebras get hatch panels stuck around their necks. Not one zebra, not two zebras, maybe three zebras, probably four. It's, it's a tragedy. We aren't just the innovators of panel wear. We're the future to a cleaner planet, Primus. Panel wear is the next step in clothing and eco-cleanliness. Now, what do you say, sharks? Will you chicken out or help us hatch a whole new line of clothing? Before I get into the business questions, I have some, some basic questions. Um, have, have you guys used these panels out like at the club scene? I mean, do, do the girls like these panels? So based on our market research, this pa popular design is popular with all people. Everyone enjoys wearing these fashionable gold and yellow. As we all know, these large hats allow for everyone to stand super close to each other and dance super, super easily. So it's actually extremely popular at the clubs from our basic, basic research. I'm a little more curious about the shower. When you're in the shower, do you have to wear the hat too? Or, you know, is there a seal around the shower? Because, you know, I could see where that water might just soak right into your hat. And then, you know, my hair just, it wouldn't work for my hair that day. One thing that we found is that different models didn't all necessarily work perfectly for the shower usage that we, of course, all would be using these panel hats for. I have a bit of a concern. For, so it, it, to me, it looks kind of like a halo. And for people like Earl and I, I think that would fit in for our, our persona. But Kyle and, and Paul, they're not so much a halo people. They're, they're kind of more, more pointy, pointy things off the top of their heads. So yeah, they have versions yeah. with horns, is what you're saying, Andy. Yeah, I, I, I think you're. Andy, I think you're mistaken. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what Andy's talking about. Very rarely does Andy even know what he's talking about. So it's, it's fine. We'll, we'll just roll with it. But I have some questions. You guys in several occasions said patent, pending, patent, pending. How many patents do you have pending? Is it one? Is it a design patent? Is it a utility patent? Like, where, what, what's the story with your patents? Well, we currently have, well, let's see here. It takes two weeks for them to reject a patent. I send one every four hours. So that would mean that there's probably somewhere around uh, 84, 85 patents currently um, out there for our product right now. So I'm feeling pretty good about that one. But Paul, that's kind of like your patent history. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, how, many, uh, how many responses or office actions have you gotten from the Patent and Trademark Office? How many have been accepted or are they still all pending? Or a cease and desist order, perhaps? We choose not to read the mail as entrepreneurs because we think it focuses, it takes our attention away from the now and the moment. So we focus on uh, our e-commerce website only. We don't actually read the mail from the patent office. I want to get back to the shower thing because isn't it normal when people shower that they get wet? 
So what's the purpose of keeping us dry in the shower? Like, wouldn't that have maybe uh, replaced an umbrella or something? But like, when I get in the shower, my intent is to get wet. Kyle, come on, Kyle, come on. You had, Kyle, you had boys. You know why. There's two reasons. One, nobody in their right mind wants to open an umbrella in a house. So that's out. Number two, why would, I don't know, a 16-year-old boy want to wear this hat? Because they want to be able to tell you, the mom or dad, that they took a shower. But they don't actually want to take the shower. Maybe it's just not a good idea. Because I think more people, especially at events, should shower more. So I'm just saying maybe this is not a good idea. I've been to some events where they all should have been showering. So that brings up a good point, Kyle. That you bring up a good point. What is your target market for this product? So you probably shouldn't say it's stinky teenage boys at a robotics competition. From Michigan. From Michigan. Sadly, uh, based on our market research, those would be the only people we could sell this to. Michigan? Yes. <laughs> only the state of Michigan would buy these hats from our market research. That's what we've established. Um, I think you're onto something. Let's get back to your numbers. First of all, one, I suggest you read your mail because any potential investor is going to want to know if you actually got the patent or not because doing quick math on your valuation, you're thinking this company is worth a million dollars. No, actually worth uh, $2 million because you want $200,000 investment for 10% stake. So a company value of $2 million, uh, how many of these have you sold? Actually sold. You get a contract with Andy Mark yet as a third party vendor? Well, we were looking into that, but they had too many fuel balls left to sell still. So we're looking for other areas. I heard the owner of that uh, company spends a lot of time doing lunches with people. So I'm not sure you would be able to fit it in his timeline and his budget. I'm still waiting on that answer, gentlemen. How many have <laughs> you sold? From rough estimates and the product that we're able to ship from Primus, we've sold maybe about 72, which we know is a lower in number, but with a price range of uh, approximately $100 for this elite model. So what is your price per unit and then your, your anticipated profit per unit and the margin as the volume increases? What are your numbers? I think Paul's well, got a good, good question. As we said, we actually have, um, the we sell the panels for $100 each. We actually make $104 per panel. Um, the reason being is each zebra we save, we actually get a $10 kickback from the Zebra Foundation uh, for Planet Primus. Um, because we're working with that foundation so closely, we also get um, a sticker that comes with each hat that says that our panels are 100% organic, um, they're eco-friendly, and they can be eaten in fruit salads. Hold on, Carl. I, I don't understand your math. You said you sell them for a hundred. Mm -hmm. You actually make a hundred and four. Yep. But you get ten dollars from $10 the foundation. So where's the other six go? Manufacturing and the processing yeah. of the units to make these yeah. high quality cats and shipping. Because we can also we do that went, for six dollars yeah. only. We went to lunch with Andy Baker the other day, and it costs five ninety eight for a sub sandwich. So, so your cost to make these is six dollars. Yes. Yes. Including shipping from Primus. And the sub sandwich. Oh. Like, I don't understand, man. You got to explain this to me. You got to, like, bring it up. I, I know our recycle rush may not make sense. Our main goal, once again, is to save the zebras. Uh, we just want to say that's, that's the purpose of this product, too. But also make money. So if, if you had an oversupply of, of uh, zebras, I think uh, Andy Mark probably is used to having oversupplies of uh, various elements. What would you do with them, Andy, in that situation? <laughs> probably use them as shipping, packing material. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We chop them up. Put them in. I mean, no, the, the circles, not the zebras. not the. Andy, what would you think that you value this company at right now? At least $261,400, at least. I, probably <laughs> somewhere around there. I was going to say a buck 25. Well, I'm still not sold yet. So uh, I still, I'm still stuck on the shower concept. So guys, half the, half the planet is female. I, I didn't see really any focus on the female demographic for this product. Uh, what's your plan there? I'm going to help you out here, man. I'm going to help yep. you out here. For your next pitch, for your next pitch, here's the only answer you should give to that question. Are you ready? Yeah. 
Yeah. Derby hats. That should be your answer. Derby hats. Have you ever heard of the Kentucky Derby, Carl? Derby hats. Yeah. That's the next iteration of your product should be derby hats. Easter bonnets. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, sticking so, with derby uh, hats. Carl and Derek, I, I got an offer. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm willing to do your, your $200,000 investment, but I want, I want three things. I want 27%, I want and I, I think I, because – she led a team that was a world champion that handled this this hatch panel. I want I want Kyle to be to go on this deal with me. But the third thing you got to do to convince Kyle is if he could only if he could only perchance find like a mom that could be a model during this presentation and maybe put it on her head to show us how that works. Will we get, well, get actually, a mom? I think we might have someone right here. That's, that's what I was hoping for. All right, so mom, what do you think about this? Do you does it fit well? I think Ooh. it needs a little cushion added around the top. What about like a strap to come no. down? Like a bonnet? No, no, no straps. No straps. That's good. It just needs a little, you know, a little bit of some type of little gasket around the inside. So Kyle, I'm, I'm really depending on you for this one. I think this this all is right. all you. I, I'm willing to go in with you if you want to make this this partnership happen. Okay, Andy, I, Andy, you, you've convinced me. I, I can. I'll look past the shower thing. We still need to work on that. One thing that we could do that we've talked about uh, in the past is to use a gear-based system, which would have more holes that would allow for uh, water to come through in a in a, sh in a shower situation because this. This works as a hat really, really well. Um, and so maybe, I guess, do you think if we expanded this product line in this direction, would you be more interested, in, interested Kyle? I think I would. And Andy, I'll take you up on it. I, we can work on this. This, this will be a good, uh, a good investment, I think. So look, I'm going to be real simple here. Because of their valuation is, is in crazy town, uh, and I think that there's no amount of money that will help them in this venture, uh, for that reason, uh, I'm out. Derek, Derek, if you put two of those gears up on your head, which actually is against the rules, but if you put two of them on your head, Paul might go for that because that, that might be part of his plan. <laughs> if I, how do you feel about <laughs> two at once? Yeah. Uh, how do you how do you feel about because see this is it allows water through the top and then onto the head. I think this solves all the issues we've talked about here today. Uh, none Maybe of the monetary I, ones, but all of the. <laughs> It hasn't begun to solve any of the issues I brought up. So you've got three other sharks that seem interested. I'm going to enjoy watching this uh, unravel. Thank you, Paul. I wish you the best of luck. Though. No, he doesn't. He, he hates your stuff. He's out. He's a loser. He doesn't care. He's, oh, forget I mean, about Andy, look, I, 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 to be honest with you, in no planet would I have bought that many fuel cells. So, like, we're just not looking at the business the same way, brother. Now, now, let's not talk about why there's extra panels laying around. I, I don't want to get into that. Maybe because somebody started knocking off panels when they weren't awarded the official panel contract. But Oh, someone has a corner on the market on a circular piece of polycarbonate. I see how that is. With very special printing and very important fuzzy outside protection. Yes. The fuzzy outside protection is very important, as we discussed earlier. At least I can use my surplus as, as packing material, not killing zebras. I mean, it was the first set of game objects that actually didn't fail. I think, I think the... the the tennis ball, the tennis ball from 1992 was the first game object that didn't fail. I, I heard that those got punctures and they actually did fail. What are they talking about? How, how old are they? I mean, not as old as you, Earl. I mean, you, you, you gentlemen have an offer from Andy and Kyle. Uh, Kyle or Andy, you want to... Uh... I, think, I think we're about to leave. They have, we uh, gave them an offer we... like two hours ago and we're, I'm ready to pull it. Uh, I think... Yeah. Carl, can, can, can we have a moment to talk? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Derek, okay. No. okay. No. I, I don't think we know. Yeah. I think we need to do more research on how money works. I think we don't. Well, but I mean, it's, it's good. It's good stuff. I mean, you know, we can hear you guys. Can you guys, can you guys, can you guys, 
Yeah, can you just plug, just, your, just, just like plug, plug, yeah, plug you. your ears for a second? Thank you. Thank you. I, um, I, I, I think we take it. I think we take it too. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. We'd like to take your offer. Uh, and we're really excited to work with you in the future. We know you guys have lots of business experience and know how to work with the smelly student demographic. And so we think it'll be a yep. great and successful uh, partnership. We graciously accept.